A pretty start to our morning with lots of blue skies out there, but things will be really changing as we go through that extended forecast. We'll show you the complete details in just a second, but we'll start off with a view from Bourbon Brothers Southern Kitchen Camera, Northgate and Bass Pro Shop in Colorado Springs. Lots of blue skies. We look back towards the Rampart Range and towards the Air Force Academy. 44 degrees is the current temperature. Notice towards the top, left hand side of your screen, that little spot that's there. That's not a spot on the camera. That's actually the setting moon, which is at 96%, according to our friends of the U.S. Naval Observatory at this time. Parkview Medical Center camera, Highway 15 Purcell Boulevard, 32 degrees, the current temperature at Pueblo S, so it is somewhat cooler there than it is on the north end of the springs. By the time we finish it off, we'll top out in the 60s in most areas around southern Colorado, 64 in the springs, and also Canyon City, 66 in Pueblo, lower to middle 60s in the plains, and also along the front range, you take it up to Denver, where temperatures are going to top out at right around 70, lower to middle 60s, long I-70 between Lyman and Burlington, and 40s and 50s up in the mountains, 47 year high today in Leadville, 57 in Salida. 58 at Alamosa. Zooming it out now to the state view to give you an idea what temperatures look like at this hour. 31 in Colorado Springs, 38 in, in Pueblo. All along the front range, temperatures are sitting in the 30s, 34 up at Fort Collins. As you head up into the high country, of course, it is somewhat cooler. 21 at Leadville, 30 the current temperature in Salida, 22 at Alamosa, also 22 at Craig. Along the western slope, it's somewhat warmer than it is in the highest elevations. 31 is the current temperature in Grand Junction. Skycast, that projected satellite and radar around the state of Colorado for the next couple of days, is not going to call for too much as we go through this afternoon or on Sunday. It's not until Monday that we begin to see a front make its way into the region. That's the leading edge of all of that polar air that we've been talking about as we've gone through this hour of Good Morning Colorado. With that front, we are going to see a few snow showers west of Denver towards the Eisenhower Tunnel and points westward from the Continental Divide over towards the western slope. That will continue to make its way through the region. And yes, by 6 o'clock, Skycast has a few showers, snow showers, of course, because it will be cold enough for them to the north of the springs up towards the Palmer Divide and points northward into Douglas County. As you start your Skycast precipitation predictor off, it's all fall stuff right here, but we will see a few of those real snow showers, which will lead to some liquid equivalents we're talking about. West of I-25, north of I-70, predominantly this will be snow in this case because temperatures will be cold enough for it. Winds are going to be the main concern for us as we go through the next day or so, especially to the south of Pueblo on I-25 over towards Walsenburg and Trinidad. These are your gusts later on this afternoon. Same thing will be true over towards Lyman and Burlington along I-70, and those gusts are going to stay with us as we go through our early Sunday before beginning to taper off sometime later Sunday afternoon, but not for now as our weekend is going to feature some gusty winds at times. That will be our only real downside, I suppose, to the weather that we'll see on Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures in the springs tomorrow topping on the lower 70s, and then it really falls off. We'll go from 71 on Sunday, Bonnie, to 28 on Tuesday and 23 on Wednesday. Those will be dropping into the lower teens. We don't get back to above freezing until Friday of next week once we see that cold air invade. Pueblo 7-day forecast will top out in the middle 70s tomorrow. Then it's right at freezing on Tuesday, below freezing for the high on Wednesday. Lows are going to drop into the lower to middle teens for several days running. Canyon City, you'll be sitting in the lower 70s tomorrow, too, and then you drop into the upper 20s and lower to middle 30s. But it won't be quite as cold as you go up into the high country as you might expect when you have these cold temperatures in the springs and in Pueblo. Part of the reason for that is that that polar air is going to be stopping pretty much at the front range. And as you go further off to the west, it won't be quite as chilly. Now, some of the high peaks are still going to be below zero, especially Pikes Peak, as we go through the next couple of mornings mm -hmm. towards the middle portion of next week. But bottom line is, it won't be quite as cold as you might expect it to be. Taylor County, though, you'll still be sitting in the 20s for several days running for the highs. I know it doesn't get yeah, anything in yourself. Okay, that's still cold, right. but it's not going to be teens or anything for the highs. Right, but when you hear the words polar, mm -hmm. you, or the word polar, you're, <laughs> are you ready to bundle up there? Yeah, first off, you're expecting the calendar to say January, not November, mm -hmm. but that's what's going to happen this time. We have been really lucky so far, though, mm -hmm. and needless to say, we have a great weekend for us before this comes. That's right. Save for the breeze. It will be a very nice weekend. Lots of sunshine. All right. Some good news. Thanks so much, Jay. Mm -hmm. Well, you love...